just made this brand new blogs for account, but it has no fruits. So I've given myself 24 hours to see if I can collect every fruit in the game with no cheating, no help from admins, and of course, no pay to win. We're gonna start by rolling a fruit. Please, something good. Bruh. All right, we get the diamond fruit. That is one fruit down, 34 more to go. So you guys can see, I have to wait another two hours before I can roll again. So we're gonna just have to search for fruits. And obviously, because we don't have the fruit notifier, I have no idea when they're gonna spawn. But luckily for me, in my last video, I searched a thousand fruit notifiers. And I learned that the desert island has the most fruit spawns. So that's exactly where we're headed right now. All right, okay, so one of the spawns is right next to this cactus. And then the next one is over at this cactus. So now what we've gotta do is just server hop and wait until a fruit has spawned. <gasps> oh, it is. No way. We get a kilo fruit. Bro, what are the chances that worked on the first try? Bro, we have 6,000 servers to choose from. Yo, imagine we get a back to back right here. And we get dark fruit. I promise you right now, this is not staged. And 20 minutes of server hopping later, we found a spin fruit. That is the second worst fruit in the game, by the way. It's probably the only time I'll be happy about storing a spin fruit, to be honest. It has just been over two hours since we started. And so far, we are making great progress. We have tried rolling for fruits and also searching for them. But I have another method I want to try out. Please, fruit. Yep, that's right. We're, we're fruit begging. Yo, who's going to bless the boy up with a fruit? I know you guys want to. All right, never mind. These guys have no idea right now, but uh, whoever does end up giving me a fruit is gonna get the permanent version when I'm done this challenge. Bro, there's no way you need spring fruit. Please, just drop it. Just drop it, man. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think fruit begging actually works, but then this guy dropped me a, a light fruit. We now have six fruits. And after grinding levels for the next few hours, there it is, level 700, baby. We can now go to the second scene. All right, back in scene number two, gamers. I think the first thing we're gonna do here is just roll a fruit. I mean, it'd be rude not to, right? All right Come on, something good, something good. I got the spin fruit. No, I can't even store this. Well, I know exactly where this is going. The good thing about the second C is a lot of the time, people who roll bad fruits will drop them in cafe. Did he just, did he not want this? So I'm gonna do some server hopping and see if we can find some fruit scraps. Okay, all my days, bro. There's a smoke and a spring fruit here, which we already got both of. Okay, there's a chop fruit, there's a chop fruit. Yo, fun fact, by the way, if anyone ever drops a fruit behind this invisible barrier, if you just shift lock, turn around and then flash step onto it, that is one easy way to get the fruit back. Bro, there's a falcon up top. We need that, bro. All right, I'm storing that. And a few searches later, we find sand, taking our total fruit count up to 10 fruits. But then the factory started preaching. Okay, I'm gonna get B in here probably. Okay, great. And if you're not already familiar with how this works, every 90 minutes, the factory breaches. And the player who does the most damage to the core gets a fruit. But because of my low level, I can't do enough damage in time. So in order to make this work, I've come up with a plan. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna get 10 friends into private servers. And if they join within two minutes of each other, that means by the time I destroy the first factory core, I can quickly server hop and the next one will already be breaching, saving us a lot of time and hopefully getting us a decent amount of fruits here. All right, okay guys, we are in the first server. Just give me a fruit that I don't have and I'll be happy. And we get the rubber fruit. I'll take that. All right, now we can join the next server. All right, come on. Bless your boy with a good fruit here. And we get rumble. Yes. Bro, my plan is working flawlessly. Look at this. I'm joining as they're breaching. Now just give me a mythical and I'll be happy. Oh, uh, we get flame. That's not a mythical, but it's one of the fruits we needed. And we get ice. We get magma. Let's go, bro. And we get the smoke fruit. And after three more factory raids, our fruit count was rising. But we still haven't got our first mythical yet. I've seen so many clips online of people getting mythicals from this. I'm just praying we... Oh my... Bro. <laughs> We just got a gravity fruit. No way. We are now officially 12 hours into the challenge and we've only just got hands on our first mythical. And in order to complete our fruit collection, we need just 16 more fruits. So I've just awakened the magma fruit we bought earlier. We're gonna do some ship raids. The good thing about ship raids is they have a 10 to 20% chance of dropping a fruit. I'm gonna light these up. Okay, we got no fruit. Come on, please give me a fruit. Please give me a fruit. Oh, we get revive. Yeah, we actually needed that as well. That's perfect. So I spent the next two hours grinding these. It was boring. We got the bomb fruit. I'm mean, a spike. Bruh. Dude, I've got the worst luck. And after getting a kilo fruit and feeding it to the sea beast, we finally got a legendary fruit. Well, technically, I didn't, but my friend did who helped me. And by this point, we had been in the same server for over four hours. And after getting a fist of darkness from a sea beast, my friend then got one from a chest. Having two fists of darknesses means you can unlock the V3 dark blade. And players will often pay rare fruits just for you to host this. So I put a message in the Blocks Discord server, and instantly this guy offered me a leopard fruit. So after helping him, we now have 
the rarest fruit in the game. We have just six hours left. The plan now is I'm just gonna go and roll on all my accounts. All right, give me something good here. Oh, we get barrier. Yo, we needed barrier. That's one of the fruits we didn't have. I'm gonna say give mythical or else. Bro, we get the fake leopard. Wow. And after 10 more rolls, the best fruit we got was love fruit. I mean, it's good, but we already have it. At this point, I'm actually begging for just a legendary. I don't even want a mythical. Give me a legendary. We get rubber. So I just kept rolling for fruits. All right, we get magma. And we get chop. We get the portal fruit. The fact that we haven't rolled a single mythical yet is crazy to me. I then rolled both spider and phoenix back to back. But two hours later, still in the search for a mythical, this happened. We just got venom. We just got venom. Bro, we have rolled all of these fruits and we finally get a mythical. We now need just eight fruits to complete our collection, but we only have three hours left. I don't even know if that's possible, but I'm not quitting now. So I decided to search fruits in my Discord again. Should be by this tree, I think. Oh, we get Buddha. We get Buddha, no way. And as we continued searching, our luck was getting better because on the next search, we found a blizzard fruit. Third time lucky, can we continue the streak? No way. We just got back to back blizzard. Another blizzard. Oh, we get quake. We needed quake. We needed the quake fruit. Just five more fruits left, guys. We are clutching hard right now. We're actually getting the fruits we need. This is going better than I thought. All right, it should be over here somewhere. I don't even know where. Is it by the tree? My days. Oh, my days. That is not what I think it is. That is not dough. No way. We just got a dough fruit. What? It broke. What is my luck? What is my luck? What is my luck? 23 hours ago, we started with zero fruits. We're now in the final hour with just four fruits left to find. We need shadow control, spirit, and dragon. So after leveling up a few more levels, we're now in the third seat. Okay, guys, here's our final chance. We do not have long love. So we're going to wait here for the pirate raid to spawn. And I'm just hoping we can get a good fruit from this. I don't think I've ever gotten a good fruit from one of these. It's literally our final chance, where I've got no other options here. And in case you're wondering, we're using the exact same method as we did with the factory raid to improve our chances as much as possible. And we get flame fruit. All right, we get the flame. We get barrier. We don't need barrier again i can't store this i don't believe i'm going for the absolute slam dunk on these pirates now all right we get the sun fruit that is not what we wanted i don't know why i keep getting this bug by the way what is going on bro we have 15 minutes left i don't even know if we're gonna do this and we get the kilo fruit okay it's our final one here before our time's up something good we get ice that is not the fruit we needed that is not the fruit we needed okay our time is up here well Rip. So these are all of the fruits we managed to obtain in 24 hours. We managed to get every single common. We got every single uncommon and rare. We got all the legendaries. And we managed to get four of the eight mythicals in the game. If anyone thinks they can beat me, join my Discord. I'm going to be giving prizes to people who can. And guys, the day after the challenge is finished, I actually rolled a dragon fruit. So hey, subscribe, click on screen. Watch this video. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one.